Hey guys, what is up? And today we're going to be making Among Us again. And uh, so what we're doing, so what we did in the last episode, was we um, finished up the task. And I actually made a new map because the old one was looking kind of bad. So I made a new one. And I am going to change this size to 500 for the map. Because I thought my map was looking a bit too small. Yeah. And what I also want to do is change the movement to like negative 7. Uh, I want to change the speed to like 7. Because I thought it was kind of, you know, um, slow on this huge map. 7. Uh, yeah. Well, I. Okay. Uh, never mind that. Um. So, yeah, I'm happy with this. And, um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to add color to our map. And we're going to make it, um, we're going to make the, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, and we're going to have a simpler way to make the missions or the tasks. And so you can see I got rid of that. If X position and Y position thingy. Uh, yeah. So if you want to add color, just duplicate your map and call it. This is going to be map art or something. Um, and now you can start filling stuff in. So I can like fill my whole map in here. But. I guess what I will do over here, um, so I'm going to, in the normal map, this is the normal map, I'm going to, uh, add more, like, objects, like, I guess I could add, um, like, tables here, or so, I'll do that later, but, to add color, you're just going to need to, make what color you want just get what color you want let's say i want my cafeteria to be like this sort of a color well then what i can do is i can make a square with zero outline and literally uh, just do that then use the selection tool and um start shaping it so let me just zoom in and start shaping it like yeah so that's one way um and if you actually want this map if you want this map then you can just search up my name on scratch game developer one two three four um and then you can uh yeah, then you can, you know, put this in your backpack and use it. Uh, yeah, but be sure to give credit. Yeah. So I'm just going to make my whole map light gray. Cause it, I guess, looks good. Um, oh yeah, and now you're gonna see this very weird thing happen. And that is because this map art, we're just going to get rid of all the code. Okay, that was from something else, so you don't need this code right now. But you can do forever go to map for the map art. And now you're going to have color and you're going to be able to move around. Which... Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to change the speed to 
10 because it'll um because I honestly think it's pretty slow okay so now what we're going to do is work after I change all my speeds I'm going to um show you an easier way to make the missions so yeah I like this fast yes and um so well first I'm going to make my background just black because like we're in space so I'm just going to make it black square like we're in space and just put a bunch of white dots on it for the stars just randomly put a bunch of dots yep there we go so now we're going to make uh, so now we're going to actually duplicate um the map again and call it missions now we can get rid of all of this except for the no yeah except for those and then we're going to add a go to map still there should be like no difference in your gameplay and you know honestly i think this outline should be more on the gray side and i mean like the whole map yeah okay um very big glitch the map should forever go to front layer to help oh god i just messed my map up it doesn't look as good now okay there we go i'm just gonna leave it like that so um yeah now in the missions you want to go to your costumes and so let's say there's going to be a mission or like a task. I should start calling it a task. Um, let's say there's going to be a task. Uh, let me like purple. Uh, let's say there's going to be a task like right. No, that's not a good place for a task. This is a good place for a task. Let's say there's going to be a task like right there. Okay, so now what I can do is, let me actually just go to that place so I can make things easier. And the map, I can change that back because the, then the use button gets really messed up. I can't even find my way around this map, which is kind of funny because... I should be I should know how to play this game really good cuz I'm the one making it I feel like I'm close yeah I'm probably not close at all um where am I right now this is so I'm in the very back when I'm actually supposed to be well yes yeah, see I'm not that far away I need to be right here. Okay, um, the missions should go to front layer. It's just not showing. Okay, now it'll show. So the mission should have a front layer and then the map should have a back layer and then the map art should be like in the middle. So there's nothing on that. Now, for our player, uh, we need to do one flag clicked forever if 
touching color. And now you wanna eye drop it. If touching that color, then you broadcast the mission. But before that, you wanna broadcast a new message called move back. Now when you get that in your map, you wanna do when I receive move back. You wanna change X. Yeah, so you wanna change X by like, I guess, like 30 or so. So if, I, if you just put a change X by 30, no, it needs to be change X by like negative 30. And then, yeah, so now once you have that, if you go find the mission, so let me just find the mission, which hopefully doesn't take too long. Yes, it doesn't take too long. Now we can touch it. Oh God, that's another glitch we need to fix. But it's completed then, and then we're good to go. So for the task now, we can do one flag clicked forever. Go to front layer. And that, uh, let's see. Okay, that's still mission completed because we completed the mission. We just need to, ooh, get back here. I can't even find my way around here. All right. Okay. Still a very big problem. Okay. So let's just like duplicate this like two times to actually make it go to front layer. And then we click and then it's mission completed. And yeah. So you can start adding tasks like this, but you need to use different colored lines. So like, over here we have pink line. Uh, next we need to have like, I don't know, like a red line or something. And uh, just place them around the map and make them do different missions like we did. And so guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time. So peace out.